Hey guys, it is at night and yet cars are still being very loud. I wanted to talk about something that I found very um, stressful and actually I had an amazing, awesome conversation with Brittany King and Lee Goodman and uh, a few other folks who came on towards the end um, on Brittany's channel. So please check that out. But we touched on something that I, I wanted to expand on a little bit, which is the whole notion of ending racism. It sounds great, right? Like it sounds noble. It sounds so noble, but it just isn't, it isn't a thing. I personally don't believe we can stamp out racism from the face of the earth uh, because to stamp out racism would really be to sort of have everyone be this robotic automaton that doesn't have any thoughts of their own they don't have the problems of the heart like we all have fallen short we've we're all broken we're all broken to even begin the processes of just normal life and, and normal healing normal correction of behavior is a mystery in and of itself to psychologists to psychotherapists to psychoanalysts like it's a mystery. So until we even get there, um, we need to acknowledge that it's just not going to be possible to end racism. Because personally, first of all, I think racism is really a heart issue. You hear this time and time again, a lot of Christians will tell you this. They'll be like, racism is a heart issue. And then people are like, no, it's a system. But it's a system created by people with that heart issue. Systems don't just emerge, like aliens don't just like deposit a system and say, okay, here it is and it's racist. It's ultimately still created and still run by people and their evil hearts. And as, as much as I'd like to say, like, yeah, let's fight it as a system, that kind of takes out the human element from the responsibility of racism, the human element in writing laws and legislation, the human element in judgment, in the courtroom. There's still a human heartbeat behind that. And I just know that if we end racism, say hypothetically speaking, there will always be something else that would need to be stamped out until we're on this train ride to a society with no evil in it. And think about that. If you want to engineer evil out of humanity, like, what's the cost of that? And where are you going to stop? Like, do you have a manual for where you're going to stop with these checklists? Because if it's racism, then the next thing is going to be end misogyny. If it's not misogyny, the next thing is going to be end beauty. Then the next thing is going to be end tallness. I don't know. Like, it's just, the list is just going to keep going. And uh, there was this great book, We by Yevgeny Zamyatin. If I think I'm saying his name right, it's a fictional book. And it talks about a society where people would wear masks if they were too pretty. And there are people who would have weights. Like, if they were too strong, they would have to hold weights. And people who are intellectuals, they would have to, like, listen to music uh, while, you know, functioning so that they were a little less smart than the average person. And so... I feel like if we begin with this idea, this this utopian idea of ending racism, it will never really end because, you know, it will be linked to so many other factors. And then we're just controlling society to turn into this, what, what would have been utopian is now this dystopian 1984, we brave new world type society where no one has any personality. And... By the way, think about it. What are the values that these people hold who create these concepts of end racism? Are they biblical? Are they uh, objective? Like, what kind of society do they envision? Like, what is the vision? That's something I have never been able to get from any critical social justice speaker. Like, what's the vision long term? Like, where are your standards? What's your authoritative model? Who's giving you the rules? Um, is it a tra transcendent being? Is it just another human being that you're, you know, taking their word and applying it to the entirety of humanity? Things like that. We got to ask ourselves these questions before we just spit out these great sounding statements and phrases. I just wanted to leave you with that. Uh, if you like this video and have things to share, please like this video and comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, like literally just Hulk smash the subscribe button, okay? Thank you, love you, bless you, and I'll see you later.